I'm here at my sewing machine. I've got my matching thread in the top and the bobbin and I've got my threads pulled up. I have my machine set up for free motion including having the darning foot on. So I'm going to go ahead and start in a corner. I'm going to take a couple of stitches in place to secure those threads and I'll trim these later. And then I'm going to start with those lowercase e's, the scroll and loop quilting. I'm going to fill up this area that's the square on the outside of the tulip and then I'll work my way over around the tulip. Now here I'm coming up very close to the edge of that tulip so what I will do is very slowly walk that over. There's no need to cut that. That's one of the beautiful things about free motion. And here I will do this small triangle And I don't have to do it in any particular order. I can make it look any way I want. And again, I'm going to walk this over because I'm real close to the point of a tulip, so you won't even see that. And so now I can do this part of the rectangle and I'm going to move this so that I can see it a little bit better. And I'm also going to use, there's a couple different tools I use, but I like these quilting discs. I also have um, gloves that I use sometimes, but I'm going to use these quilting discs so you can see my hands as I do this. Now I could continue on here, but I'm going to do the top area first and then go around. I don't want to quilt inside the tulips, so I'm just going to stay uh, on the areas of the quilt that are on the outsides of each of the tulips, because I want those tulips to pop out. And when you put a, a nice dense filler pattern around it and echo quilting, it does just that. So the focus will be on the tulips. So that gives you a good idea of how you do free motion quilting. I'm going to finish the rest of this quilt and let you see it when it's all done. I've got the top quilted and the table runner is ready to go except for the binding that I need to do. But here you can see I did echo quilting around the outsides of the tulip applique. This is done with your walking foot and you're simply going to quilt along the edge of the tulip and then at different intervals. I think I did it one, two, three, four different times um, other than on the tulip. So it was a total of five different rounds of echo quilting and I just used the half distance of my presser foot. Um, I, when you're using your walking foot it's a very wide foot and so I used half of it. Um, in fact I'm going to get that so you can see it. So here you can see that each echo quilting basically the needle was right here and I just went along using my presser foot as the guide. And it looks like it's about three eighths of an inch. It's more than a half inch. I mean, it's less than a half inch, but it's more than a quarter of an inch. I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, this frankly to me was uh, more challenging than the free motion because of these inside curves. Uh, these were pretty tight 
And so when you get to these inside curves, you'll want to take these about two stitches at a time, stop, move your quilt, two stitches, stop, move your quilt. Here in the free motion part, I free motioned around the tulips. Like I said, I wanted the tulips to pop out. I also did not free motion here and just did the scroll and loop quilting all around the tulips. And then in the border, I simply did the scroll and loop and added some leaves. And I'll have those designs in the Spring Tulips Color of the Month pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this video on quilting and it's given you some great tips so that you're ready to quilt your own Spring Tulips Table Runner.